Good evening, everyone. What's up? I just ate a satisfying meal and topped it off with the measy dessert. This is Mr. Hata speaking. Previously, I did some shout outs. And there will be a Cartoon Network rant as well as a Nickelodeon rant coming up in a few weeks. One might ask, what is today's rant? Well, my friends, today's rant is on modern day music. I do apologize if this offends some of you, but I respect your opinion, so. Let's get started, shall we? Like many things, music has changed over the years. Music, without music, our world would be boring. Our life would be boring. Everything around us would be boring without music. Even if we were in a dark, quiet area, we would be bored eventually without a sound or two. Music expresses people's feelings as well as the personality and as well as what they're like and how they think and how they speak sometimes. Well, anyway, back to the main topic. Music has changed, like I said, in, these, in this modern day decade or modern day era. A few, like, over a decade ago, maybe 1990s, 1980s, rap wasn't extremely popular but now it's skyrocketed just like obesity in Mexico it's like that that's like all most kids actually care about and listen to is rap <laughs> they wait music is wasted on rap now I mean what happened to all the other music a lot of the other music like the classics mostly by the classic composers such as Henry Purcell, Vilvati, Beethoven, Mozart Let's see who else. Rossini, Thomas Morley. They've been all like underappreciated. Kids don't even care about that stuff, most of them. Unless they're like very, very, very devoted to classical music. Most kids don't even care about that stuff. All they care about is rap. I mean, even country music has gone downhill. <laughs> it has. I mean, look at Kenny Chesney, for example. None of hits are, his, his hits are even on number one for any longer than a week. Well, I don't blame you. The beats are no longer catchy, and they just sound so unexciting when you listen to them. There's no oomph to it. There's no rush in the adrenaline, no excitement, nothing to look forward to in the song, no comfortable beat at all in the, in the music. That's what's making it go downhill, and the choice of words, how the voice is at certain points, the choice of instruments, it's all that. I mean, overall, the reason why music's going downhill is because people are probably running out of ideas, like TV shows. It's normal that people run out of ideas. Ideas have, will go out eventually, although some possibilities are endless, but that's why things are going downhill in the entertainment. Not, I'm not saying everything's downhill, but some of the music has gone downhill. Like, country music, there are many songs that just sound the same. And there are some beats that aren't even catchy at all. They're not even fun to imitate at all. <laughs> and also, remember back in 2012, I think it was it's, July 2012 was when Gundam Style came out. Yeah, that was only appreci that was only like a big deal for like a few months up until like November. It was like on DJs like one year later, but that was it. It's forgotten completely now. No one cares about it anymore. Harlem Shake was even shorter than that. In February or March 2013, just over a year well over a year and a half ago, it was people were making Harlem Shake videos and now that was for like one or two months. At least it was longer than that. L ALS Ice Bucket Challenge. <laughs> but anyway, back to the main topic. Music will probably continue to go downhill at this point. I mean, most of the country music is even worth listening to nowadays. It seems like the first hits of some country artists were the best. Like, Florida Georgia Line's Cruisin' was probably their best hit. Or... Kip Moore hasn't made anything great recently. Let's see who else. 
Alan Jackson's gone downhill. Like some 1990s music was better than now. I'm not saying all the 90s music was better, but still. Who else? That's all I can think of at this point. But people don't even appreciate world music, a lot of people. Especially the kids, they're into their own stuff only. I mean, there's just, there's more to music than this rap and pop. There's a lot of music out there. I mean, yeah, the music does have more appropriate words than it used to, but that does create a variety. And a variety is good. Without balance, our world would stink and we'd all die of depression. Enough said. But overall, as I was saying, a lot of music out there is underappreciated. And a few, and just what two or three genres are just way overrated, and everything else isn't even appreciated at all for its value. Everything, every music genre has its own value. Like classic has its own value of like violins and pianos, and like creating the mood for things like speed, depression. Like in the Four Seasons by Vilvati, well, the second movement of Spring was like depression, and then the third movement of Spring was like excitement. Something's something good's bound to occur. Let's see what, what else is a good example. I mean, though that mu music had meaning to it, like one Mozart pieces has excitement and everything is great for like classical dance, romantic dances. The dancing now is just not even going to go as well with the rap. It's just rocky stuff, pretty much. Well, that's all I have to say for this review, re rant. I'm sorry if I was just rambling all on and on about stuff that interests you, but it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's an opinion, though. So, that's all I have to say for this rant. See you on my next rant. The Cartoon Network rant, Nickelodeon rants will be coming up pretty soon. So, Gotta get to bed. Look at the time. It's getting late. Good night.